Hi everyone, starting today, I'm launching a new YouTube playlist called React Mistakes. Well, there are hundreds of thousands of React tutorials out there to help you learn the framework. There is a noticeable lack of content highlighting that common mistakes developers make. Based on the industry experience and insight from code reviews, I feel it's crucial to raise awareness about these pitfalls, especially for juniors to mid-level React developers who are working in the industry or preparing for interviews. I'm Saiket from Frontend with Saiket and I have a small request, don't just watch these videos, try coding along with me. It's the best way to make the most your time and effort. As I was researching and reflecting on my own experiences, I came across an article that really resonated with me. The points I will cover in the playlist align with what I found there. I have shared the link below if you would like to check it out. But remember, don't blindly copy paste the examples. The real value lies in understanding these mistakes and learning how to avoid them in your own projects. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the core of today's content. So here you can see on my screen, this is a simple component that we are showing the shopping list component based on the item's length. So our goal in this code base is to conditionally display the shopping list component in simple term if there is at least one item in the array, we want to show the list. Otherwise, we shouldn't render anything. But there is an issue. We are seeing zero on the UI instead of shopping list. But there should show no shopping list found or no items, something like that, any message, right? But uh, this is not make sense to show zero on the UI because the end user won't be able to understand anything, right? So now the question is, why is that happening? Let's break it down. So this happens because this items.length evaluates to zero. So in JavaScript, zero is a false value. When the end end operator encounters a false value on the left hand side, it short circuits and directly returns to the value. So the entire expression resolves to zero. It's as if we write the code like this. For example, that means zero and then our shopping list component with items. So this condition actually evaluates to this. So here in the JavaScript, since items dot length evaluates to zero, so zero is a false value, right? Now, unlike other false values like empty string, null, or false, the number zero is treated as a valid in JSX. This makes sense because there are many cases where we actually do want to display the number zero, right? Now, the question is how to fix that? What is the best way to handle this scenario? So we need to ensure our expression evaluates to a pure boolean value, true or false, right? Instead of showing the zero, we want that has to be either true or false. Instead of depending on the items.lang, what we can do, we can depend on the items array. So we can check like if the items.lang greater than zero, at that time we want to show the shopping list component right so now you can see there is nothing is showing showing on the ui right so uh we can show any message for example no items found or shopping list is empty something like that right but yeah our goal is to prevent the error the previously what it it was showing the zero right so this is a one way to prevent this problem so there is another alternative way that we can use uh by using the ternary expression so let's see how we can do that. So basically, instead of uh, using this short circuit, we can use the ternary operator, right? So if items.length is present, we can show this. Otherwise, we can uh, show a message, for example, no items found, right? See, we can now getting this no item founds message, right? So previously, when we use the short circuit and end operator, at the okay, if we use that, we should not write this right the previously it was zero right because it was uh, getting by default as a false value right so instead of depending the depending on the this short circuit we can use the ternary operator either we can check the length get at that zero that how i was shown uh, previously right so these are the two way that we can actually you know uh, prevent this problem now the question is what should we use right so both options are completely valid 
so the choice ultimately comes to comes down to the personal preferences whatever you feel comfortable you can use any one of them right that will work absolutely fine so please make sure don't make these mistakes in your react app ultimately that arise a question about your react experience right so in this playlist i'm going to share a lot more react mistakes that developers are making in their daily lives that uh, based on the industry experience and my code reviews uh, experience so i'm combining both of them and i will share one by one with you guys so if you feel this video is helpful for you just subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay tuned with me i'll share a lot more as i said thanks happy coding